Did Black Adam save DC? What do you think, Miss Jamie Lee? Yeah, 100% in my opinion. Uh, I would agree with you 100% as well. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Circle Club Show. I'm Tyrone. I'm here with the lovely Miss Jamie Lee from the In the Front Row. She does interviews, shorts, incredible reviews. Make sure you go check her out. We're clearly talking about Black Adam and how he saved the DC universe. We don't need to get too much into the background, but as everyone knows, Warner Brothers is absolute shit. They can't figure out anything. It's a total mess. They're canceling projects. They got 15 Batman. No one knows if Henry Cavill's coming back. Um, and spoiler alert, folks, because that's what this is. So if you haven't seen it, make sure you save it and come back. Henry Cavill is back. But honestly, that spoiler alone made me feel like okay dc is starting to realize let's connect the dots a little bit here let's kind of get it mm. together um i'm curious what was your first reaction to that same thing give the fans what they want this is what we want i don't think there's anybody that doesn't want henry cavill to be superman i've never met anybody who doesn't want that so yeah i think the rock coming in and you know uh, to me I, I look at it like he's like in the Marvel universe, he's our Robert Downey Jr. Everybody likes him. Everybody knows his character. Likewise with The Rock. I, I don't think there's too many people that don't like The Rock. Sure, there's some people that might be a little bit jealous that they're not like, you know, rock looking. <laughs> yeah. But um, overall, most people genuinely like him. And I think that yeah. his character, most people will like his character. It's pretty badass. And I think he's somebody that will be in their universe for a very long time. I don't think it's going to be one movie, two movie, the end. I think they're going to really drag this out and really give him um, or give the fans this sort of like likable character, you know, like someone really ca charismatic and like his acting sure is not the best, but like personality wise and like just badassery, like he's got yeah. it, you know? I'm sure I've told this on our channel before, but I, I was in um, a little film with him and Kevin Hart and <clears throat> It, it was funny. I was I was spending the day with him the entire time, and he came up and introduced himself to me, and he goes, "Hello, I'm Dwayne Johnson." And I'm like, "Yeah, everyone knows, you know." <laughs> it's like, dude, you are a <laughs> mega star, and I and that's how I. But like, he's so humble, he's so genuine. You see it all the time, like online. There's videos of him just mm -hmm. taking photos with fans. He'll stop his car and you know cross right help an old lady cross the road like he's just that amazing that phenomenal person so you're rooting for him yeah on on that alone right and and as you said like you know the acting it, it all depends how you feel about it i think it works better in the dc universe than marvel because i think marvel tries to be so serious where dc is like no we're comics you know we're fun we play we're playful right it works better with Dwayne, especially coming from that like wrestling background where it's like, what do you smell what the rock is cooking? And it's just like over the top, it's theatrics. You know, I think that's what- Yeah, that's perfect. exactly what it is. Yeah. yeah. I love your I love your Iron Man comparison because that's exactly how I felt. I was like, this feels sort of like, okay, this is a character and a person that I can get behind and is going to set the tone for this entire universe, right? Like, to be honest with you, I did not care about the plot. I don't care that he was asleep for however many years, 500,000 years, was it 5,000, whatever. Yeah. Don't care. Like, this is The Rock being, like, a, well, in my eyes, a hero, but in his eyes, he's not, whatever. Uh, yeah. But either way, like, you know, like, that's what I cared about. I cared about seeing this badass dude in some badass fight sequences, killing off a bunch of people, and killing, might I add. You know, he's not someone that's like, I'm yes. not going to kill. Like, yeah, that's right. the shit we want. Yeah, we want this proper badass dude. No, and we no, got him. A hundred percent. Like you're completely spot on. And I think seeing Hawkman sort of come to that realization is is something I think mm -hmm. a lot of fans have come to that realization too. And I'm not condoning violence in real life, but but <laughs> you know sometimes there comes a place in time where you just got to be like, listen violence is the answer because you're harming other <laughs> you people. You bad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know? and, and I think that justification is there. It's awesome. It felt earned, right? In this film itself, the the mom and son, I didn't really care for their performance too much or, or like their journey. And I felt like we probably could have gotten rid of them after the first act, like where the superheroes kind of went off and did their own thing. But it's also lighthearted, it's fun, it's fine. It wasn't, you know, like I said, it, I was okay with it. They did a lot of explaining about the background, 
Um, some of that little mm. uh, dirty work of how certain things work because she's an archaeologist. Um, but that was the one thing for me in this film that I was like, eh, didn't really care for it. What about you? Yeah, I'm the same. Like, I get why they did it, the whole people power, and that's literally how it started, you know, in the beginning. Right. Uh, you know, with the people looking for the magic rock. Or, I don't even know what it's called, to be honest with you. But anyway, you know, that all the people were sort of um slaves sort of thing yeah. and this was their chance to sort of like reclaim their power back and things like that but honestly that last part there was like a little bit flat to me you know when mm. the skeletons come out and the people were fighting off the like hell skeletons i was like oh yeah. come on i mean it looked yeah. good like at least it didn't look like crap but i was like come right. on we could have just had you know black adam just like uh electricity eyes every one of them you know so <laughs> it's a bit drawn yeah. and this thing yeah, been, that's it's a, overdone it's, now, kid. It's yeah, overdone. It's a, it's, a, it's, it's a little, it's a little, they want to be like Wakanda forever, but not quite there. Right. I, I wasn't yeah. quite feeling that either. I mean, who knows? Maybe as they do it a little bit more, we start to go, all right, it's kind of cool. But like, eh. I also mm -hmm. felt that Cyclone was a little weak in this. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I thought the actress herself was awesome. Um, she did yeah. a good job. She was beautiful. Her, the way they used her, it wasn't I, I wasn't a big fan of that uh, as well um and then also adam smasher uh, noah centennio kind of giving that ant-man vibe there I, I did like that personally um and he, he sort okay. of seems he sort of seems as if like maybe he's young and doesn't fully know his powers quite yet so that was sort of interesting to mm. see but those two characters that's why i'm like hoping though I was just about to say that I hope that there's like either series spin-offs with like these these guys or like even their own little like cameos some more in some movies yeah. or something but just something to really get to know them because I feel like he was really goofy and um Adam Smasher and we did to me it didn't really fit because I was like why are you so dumb like are you aren't you a superhero like you yeah. know, like I didn't quite get his personality because I don't know them yet. Mm -hmm. And he sort of had that that little thing going with Cyclone there. And same thing, I was like, is there something going here? Or do you guys even know each other? Like, you know, yeah. it, it, I didn't really get to know them. I didn't really form a relationship with these guys because I don't really know them. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping that we get like a spin off or like some sort of something more with these guys because I did like the characters I really did yeah. but I just thought that they were underdeveloped whereas like Dr. Fate like I was literally crying over that guy Dr. Fate <laughs> I mean like his incredible. performance was yeah so <laughs> um maybe it's the amount of airtime they got or I don't know like I, I knew nothing yeah. about him and I knew nothing about them but yet I was like in love with this one and this one I was going who are you guys <laughs> And that's why I sort of leaned towards maybe they just getting the writing wasn't there. And that's why I think if they would have taken out the mother and child bit, maybe they could have given those two a little bit more. Um, but I, I mm. that, ironically, that was something I liked about the film is how they just ju jump us in. They don't really give us the like typical like, oh, Adam Smasher is going to school and this is how he got his powers. It's like it doesn't really matter how he got his powers. You know, we'll see it down the line, maybe or maybe they'll allude to it. And I think that's sort of the right approach right because dc is trying to catch up to marvel i don't think it's going to happen but who knows um and so you don't ha you can't afford to make everyone have an origin story at this point you sort of need to just drop them into your universe and then if people like that character more they want to know more about it then you sort of put them throughout it and that was another element i really liked was amanda waller it, it, viola davis is you're getting this connection between the different properties, right? And you sort of know who she is because you've seen her in Peacemaker, you've seen her in Suicide Squad, you've seen her in these yeah. other properties. And I think that sort of adds value to their entire universe. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when we go back to that question fundamentally, does Black Adam save the DC universe? I would say yes, because he starts to clean it up, right? I mean, this 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 movie cleans up some things. It gives us something to look forward to. Um, and then just the way he like closes things off at the end where Amanda Waller is like, test me and you'll see, do I make myself clear? And he's just like, I don't give a shit what you say, lady. Yeah. Boom, smashes it. And then Superman yeah. shows up. I'm like, that's the Black Adam. That's the anti-hero I know Jamie Lee loves. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's know? what I want to see. Yeah. Just so badass, that, like totally. straight up badass. That's what I want to see. That's and that's and that's what they executed with. So um, I, overall, I think Black Adam has saved the DC universe. I think this is a great 
great stepping stone for future projects and i'm excited i'm here i think it's yeah he's setting up for what's to come and as we said with the you know the justice society characters if they decide to do spin-offs with that whatever that's good if not you know just put cameo in different movies or whatever but yeah i definitely think black adam is going to be around for a very long time i don't think this was like a one or two off movie i don't think he'll battle superman next and that be the end of it i think they're really going to drag this out and um yeah they'll end up you know being like cap and tony stark maybe who knows that's and that's a great comparison i was thinking the same thing i mean we know shazam and black adam have had beef back and forth but as you said it's gonna be a while before we see that and that's also something that we should wait for right let's let's build this mm. universe a little bit more let's clean some things up let's get flash out there um pick a fucking batman for god's sake right um you know like they, one they, yeah yeah <laughs> you know so there's a lot more that dc has to clean up but i think this was a great step and i'm, I'm very excited mm -hmm. about it um let us know in the comments what you guys think uh, make sure you subscribe to jamie lee's youtube channel in the front row make sure you guys subscribe to the yeah. new, new content every single day over here on the circle club uh we'll see you guys in the next video peace bye